Ta-da! As the shop out on the side. Sweaty meat, sweaty meat. Yo, I'm a spider, spider, yo, spider, spider! Good morning, how are we all doing? I'm doing good because I'm about to do a workout and I worked out yesterday. I'm on a roll, basically. I'm getting back into the swing of things and I'm feeling good about it. This is day two. It's going to stay this way, okay? I'm, I'm on it now. So I'm just going to put on my workout video thingamajig. This one is Instructor Live and it's one that I downloaded off the TV thingy last year and I'm gonna ease myself in do a few workouts that are just a little bit of light cardio I say light cardio I'm actually like really puffed out just to get myself back into the swing of things and then I'm gonna find a full-on workout schedule so yeah this one's dance fit I like to pretend I'm like a Beyonce back in dancer when I'm doing this I actually am yeah so that gets me motivated Let's put that on. So I'm going to do my workout. Then my Asda shop should have arrived, which means I can eat something. I'm going to try and do a keto diet. Check me out, going full on. I mean, I am a all or nothing type. I think you might have gathered that by now. And I'm into it now. So keto diet. I'm going to talk more about that later. So yeah, I'm going to have a bit of lunch. And then potter about the house. The kids are at school, so that means I can potter freely and then we're going to start decorating what's going to be my office i'm going to have my own office good times so we'll crack on with the exercising and then we'll get a faff in well we're just going to go through it just copy me okay have fun with it the other song like i'm like you workout done <sighs> now i'm going to cool down just wanted to prove i did it i'm out of breath I only went up the stairs well, that was good timing because my shop has just arrived. Yay! That's what you do. Get the husband to unload. Ta-da! As the shop out on the side, I thought I'd do one of those, oh, this is what I got in my weekly shop type video. So here we go. Let's start with a salad. So I've got big lettuce here. The, what do you call it? The romaine lettuce. That's for a meal. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I've got four bags of lettuce going hardcore. Well, these are a mixed leaf. Going hardcore on the leaves because I'm planning to eat a lot of salads. Lots of avocado because I'm doing a keto diet and this is like one of the main things to eat. Yeah, I've got loads of avocado. The kids eat that as well. Cucumber tomatoes so that's all like the salady bits and then i've got carrot battens to go with hummus for a snack for dinners got sweet potato as my choice of carb although apparently it's a good carb but yeah i don't know i'm still kind of learning the whole keto thing adapting it to my own taste so yeah got two broccoli and some asparagus here we go so that's for my dinners as my greens of choice fruit got grapes blueberries mango fingers i actually want a chunk but that's my substitute and strawberries two packs of bananas for smoothies and for snacks oh and obviously a bag of onions to go with my dinner stuff flora for my bread well not for me because i'm trying not to eat bread yeah that's the flora so cooked meat hot dogs sausage rolls sausages ham sandwiches snacks a kid dinner meat and then i've got some chicken some cooked chicken to check in salads and then for raw meat i have got some fish fingers some chunky oh no i haven't this was my substitute i've got really nice chunky fish fingers but then they didn't have them so i've got two cod fillets instead hmm okay so that's that then i've got some frying steak so i'm going to take it out of the packet because i don't want to touch it because it's meaty then underneath i've got some mint ah, meat packet i don't know why i'm doing that because i handle meat when i'm cooking it um lean steak mint and then some chicken breast i'm going to show you afterwards what i'm planning to make with this two loaves of bread super seeded loaf i really like this because of the extra seeds 
losing the name, but I think I feel more healthy if I was going to eat bread, eat that, and the kids eat that too, so that's good. But then onto the not so healthy custard creams, Kit Kats, biscuits, quavers, snacks, kids' lunches, and if I get desperate, I can have a custard cream. Squash, two bottles of orange and apple and black currant, semi skimmed milk, but I'm on a keto diet. I say that. I've literally just decided and done one day. But apparently, you can have like full on fat things and it's okay. So I'm gonna whack that in a coffee. I've seen a recipe, basically a coffee with fresh cream in it. I thought, yes, if I can have that, I'll be well happy. So, got some cream. So for fridgy things, got the kids some yogurt. That again was a sub because they didn't have the ones I wanted, but they're just as good. Almond milk and coconut water for smoothies, raspberry jam for the kids, marmite for the kids and me, and some fajita seasoning. I'll show you in a minute what that's gonna be for. Pack of raisins for the kids, fruit and nut selection. Effie really likes this mixed nut selection, so yeah, I thought I could snack on that too. Then a, two packs of the Naked Bars. I've only really tried the Choc Orange ones and one other, but I can't remember what it was. But I thought I'd try the coconut one and the pecan pie. So they're my puddings at the minute. And uh, a bit late, maybe I can whack some of, I was gonna say jam, whack some cream on it, yeah. Although I'm not sure how keto they are. And then I've got some sponges because I get through these like, there's no tomorrow, shampoo. L'Oreal Vive thickened one and some Dettol. So that's my little shop up. I'll show you what I'm going to make with these. I've also got some fizzy water, so packs of small bottles, packs of big bottles. I've got a thing for fizz. Right, I'm going to show you now what I'm planning to make with some of these bits. I'm looking in my Lean and 15 book. If you watch my other vlog, I made something out of this book and it went horribly wrong. I got attacked by an egg. An exploding egg, so I'm hoping that won't happen this time. But yeah, there's a few things in here. I was like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna try that. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Now, let me know if you like this kind of thing in a vlog because, or just this kind of video in general, do you find it really boring, or do you think actually I like to have a bit of a nosy and get some ideas? Don't know, let me know. So, the first thing I'm gonna try is the turkey mince lettuce boats. I actually bought beef mince because, well, I prefer it. And on a keto diet, you can have fatty things like this. So I know this is lean. I'm just gonna try it with this. I think it'll be nicer. Well, it will. But so my ingredients are the romaine lettuce hearts, tomatoes, avocado, and a fajita seasoning. So I'm kind of loosely using this. This is inspiration. I'm gonna fry this stuff. Oh, got some onion as well. Fajita mix. Chop up some avo. Avo, avocado love cherry tomatoes and whack it in a boat like that in a boat <laughs> in a lettuce boat so there's no bread there's no carbs there's no wraps i think for the kids i'll put it in a wrap but i don't have any so i'm gonna have to think of something for the kids version of but yeah that's that one next one super speedy beef stroganoff so i've got my frying steak that i'm gonna cut into little thin strips and fry off with the onion and then i've got some garlic and chili in the fridge already Fry it off with the coconut oil. Add in the creme fraiche. Chops are good in. It's a really nice sauce. I mean, there's other things you can chuck in as well, like, I mean, obviously salt and pepper. Smoked paprika, I forgot to pick that up. And I'm annoyed because I didn't get my mushrooms. But generally, do you like the way I, I just totally follow recipes? It's a general idea of that recipe. And then I'm gonna serve it with broccoli and asparagus. The kids won't eat this, so a separate meal will have to be made for them. But I think I'm gonna make this tonight, and they usually come home fed on a Friday from nanny and granddad's. So yes, that's the meal of the night. I've tried this already, really nice. That's why this is open and from Tesco. So I bought that the other day. But yes, this is nice. So that's two dinners, and then I'm going to be eating salads for the other days with the cooked chicken. I have those for lunch as well. But I might do another dinner of chicken breast with sweet potato. Just a meat and two veg jobby. And then the fish, I'll probably save that for the kids. That could be the alternative for another night if we have something else. 
So that's my general thinking here is I've got two, three meals planned, fill it out with salads on the other days where I don't have much, snacking on nuts, carrots and hummus and fruit maybe. I don't know, I don't think you're allowed that much fruit on keto. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, I need to investigate. So that's the shop for the week. I will need a top up shop on Tuesday likely for bits and bobs. But generally, yeah, that's pretty much my weekly shop. That cost around 90 pounds. I'll probably do a top up shop of around 20 to 30. So that's kind of my budget for groceries. I think I've done pretty good. But let's see when Tuesday comes around, how much stuff I've got left and what's what. But anyway, that's my little haul. So that's that, I've got to put it all away now and I'm gonna make a smoothie because I deserve one. Because I worked out and I actually really like smoothies, healthy smoothies are my thing. This is the worst part, isn't it, putting it all away? But I've got to do it quick because I've got meat out. Does anyone else get super paranoid about meat being out too long? It's like, it's getting sweaty. Get my meat away quick. Sweaty meat, sweaty meat. Right, I'm gonna make my smoothie now. I'm gonna go avocado, banana, spinach, and protein powder and coconut water and some almond milk. I might add this in, I'm not sure, see how I go. And I'm gonna whack in some linseed. So I don't have any idea how keto this is. I know this isn't keto friendly. And I'm not sure if this is either, the linseed. Or this. Basically, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. But what I do know is that you're allowed to have a lot of healthy fats Hence why I'm whacking in a whole avocado. The idea is, if you put more good fat into your diet and cut out the carbs, it makes your body burn fat. So you'll actually be losing or burning fat by eating fat. The reason I'm doing it is because Ian's doing it and he's doing really well on it. He's lost a lot of weight and he's feeling good, blah, blah, blah. So, although he's kind of modified it, like he has biscuits at night, so. Yeah, that's definitely modified. But I thought, yeah, I'm gonna try it. And I've put in an avocado, banana. Mm, I can taste the fat. I can taste the fat from the avocado, but apparently it's good. Back in some leafy greens. Got some spinach, which I already had in the fridge. Hence why it wasn't on my shop. What I've learned with this bullet is do not overfill because it will come out the sides. It will, you think, it's in there, it's all right. I've squashed it in, but it's fine. It's not, it will squirt out the sides horrendously. <sighs> Trust me, I know. So there's all these different diets, all these do this, don't do that, do that, do this, do that, don't do that. You're just like, what, what, what the hell am I meant to do? I don't know. So I'm just gonna chuck it all in and hope for the best. I'm gonna put protein in because I've done a workout, so that's okay, and it tastes like chocolate, and I really like it. So yeah, and it's got amino acids in there which is meant to be good, apparently. I don't know. And then, once I make my shake, I can be like one of those Instagram people that holds it up with their abs out like this. Like this. I just worked out, I'm well fit. I could check out my abs. That's me one day, guys. One day, I am that person. Don't hate me when I'm that person. When I'm that buff person, okay? Still be my mate when I'm going like this, hey shakes, <sighs> hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, I'm gonna whack in some almond. This is breakfast and lunch, by the way, because I haven't had any breakfast and it's 20 to 12. So this is gonna be like my lunch. It's gonna be my breakfast, my lunch, and then I'll probably have a mid afternoon snack and then dinner and then that's it. And then I'm going to fast, keto style. So this is Ian's office currently and we have Iron Man in here and Batman. He's already taken his desk out which was here. So all of this is going to be gone and we're going to decorate and he's moving into this room over here which is a bit of a mess at the moment but he's painted the walls. That's where the birds were. I don't know if you remember we had like bird wallpaper here so he's painted that grey and then the wardrobe a dark grey. 
his desk's gonna go here. So this used to be the playroom, but we just weren't using it because it's upper level. All of the toys just ended up downstairs and it, this was just a dumping ground. So we decided we're gonna do the kids' bedrooms nice and organize downstairs better. We've done the garden, so there's much more playing space in other areas because this just wasn't being used. And Ian's got a lot more stuff than the kids. He's got a lot of suits that are gonna go up along this wall like Iron Man and Hulkbuster and all that jazz. So yeah, he's in here now. He's got new lighting as well. There. And he's painted, so he's good to go. He's just gonna rearrange his stuff. But for me, what we're gonna do now is get everything out, have a clean, have a hoover, and then I'm gonna paint everything white, antique white to be precise, because that's what I picked in the shop. God, I've got enough junk in here, Ian. What? Nothing. I am Thor, king of doom. King of what? God. God, I am the god Thor, yeah, of course god he of, is. God of thunder. God of thunder, hear me roar. King of Asgard. King of Asgard. Strongest Avenger. Strongest Avenger. Come on, have it. No. It just came to my hand. He does what? He does this and calls down the lightning. All right. Right, you, it's time to get out. You've had your fun, yeah? You claim this as your own, but now it's time to get out. It's my room now, and you. Bugger off and all. To me. Alright, to you. You do it then. Well then. Bye. Give me guidance, because I can't see. Down. Along. Along. Down. To the side. Take it back now, y'all. You're not even looking. <laughs> the amount of times I've walked past this room, and seen them in the dark and I've like crap my pants. Like, <gasps> oh, it's just Iron Man. Pretty much every night. Yo, I'm a spider, spider, yo, spider, spider. She just came to the office, it's really nice. You're supposed to be helping, but you're doing no, you're just messing. All right, come on then. Don't complain when it's not finished and you and this is a mess and I'm in there happily working away. You all right? Right, so Ian has left the room. Well, he's got a few bits left, but the walls are bare and I'm going to start painting, painting it white to make it nice and bright. It's already so much brighter in here. Got rid of the curtains, all this stuff on the walls, just stuff everywhere. So this grey is going. Bye bye grey. Okay, so I've now done that wall. That's had two coats on it. I just need to do the rest of the room. The rest of the room has had one coat. So, oh, I can't believe how much lighter this room is. It's, oh, love it. Definitely a good space for me to do my thing. I'm gonna go and get in the bath now and use a lush bath bomb that I bought when I went to London. A little bit achy from my workout, which is good. I like an ache. <laughs> 